Chris and Hughes with Director Todd and Haley J. Mitrod. Today I have a message for women thinking about and looking at the um, uh, entering the seventh Hebrew month. So we are about to enter into the seventh Hebrew month of the calendar, which is the month of Tishri. And um, our first high holy day in the month of Tishri is the first day of the month of Tishri, which is Yom Teruah the day of blowing of trumpets, the day of blasting, uh, the day of clamorous noise, um, and uh, the memorial of the blowing of trumpets. That is what uh, the first day of the Hebrew month is, the new moon of the, uh, of, of the month of Tishri. Um, but it also has another name, and that is Rosh Hashanah. And um, a lot of people within the Hebrew circles oppose uh, the the um, the uh, name uh, Rosh Hashanah because, of course, the uh, the feast cycle, the biblical feast, uh, religious uh, beginning of the year is in the springtime, which is uh, the first of Abib or or Nisan. Uh, that would be the beginning of the year. However, we can see from a historical perspective and even a biblical perspective that the seventh Hebrew month is the beginning of the civil Hebrew calendar. And we can see this in that the year of release um, and the year of Jubilee are accounted from the day of atonement. And so we have a an accounting um financial accounting, a, a civil accounting that historically, and also we can see from a biblical perspective, occurred within the seventh Hebrew month. And so um, I don't have an issue, of course, with it being called Rosh Hashanah, even though it is not called Rosh Hashanah in the scriptures. So we normally prefer just saying Yom Teruah because that comes from the actual scripture. But along the lines of speaking about the new year um this is where i want to go into the exhortation because when we began this hebrew year if you remember i had a video that was called the time of refreshing and um i was just saying how the everything was changing you know there was a change that was occurring it was kind of like an air rev right it was kind of like a, a blending going from winter into springtime now we're going from summer you know into the fall and so um it's another blending you know the weather is changing it's getting cooler out it's getting more rainy out um the leaves will be starting to change very soon and so we're moving from the time of summer into the time of fall you know into this mixture this mixture of a time and so this is a time of refreshing. This is a time also of refreshing, I should say. This is also a time of renewal. You see where I'm going by uh, making that comparison of the, uh, the, the religious, you know, festival New Year and the civil New Year. These are both times of reset. Okay, so if you, if you looked at the year of Jubilee, it was a time of resetting of all debts, right? Um, if you bought a house uh, and it, you know you, that was a time to, um, if you borrowed something, that was a time to give it back. If you um, bought again, you know, had a loan, that was a time all the loans were settled at that time, okay? It was a time where properties was all given back to the original holders, okay? Um, so it was a time of reset. When we think about the Day of Atonement, that's a time of the total eradication of sin. That's a time of purification. That's a time where, you know, that sin record gets wiped away, gets cleaned away, right? We think about the beginning, hallelujah, of the new era, of the Messiah returning, you know, from on high, hallelujah. We will be changed within this season, okay? This is a new, a reset of time, the millennial reign, okay? The, the marriage of the lamb and his bride and so we are in <laughs> entering into this prophetic time when we are speaking about the seventh hebrew month it's a new era 
okay? It's the beginning of a new age. My thing here for the women is this. Get that refreshing while it is at hand. Don't allow this season to go by without getting that refreshing, without getting that clean slate, without letting go of trauma, without letting go of bitterness, without letting go of anger and resentment, okay? Without letting go of fear. Get rid of it all, right? Purge all of that oldness out. Just like we purged the leaven out at the beginning of the year. Get rid of all of that stuff, <laughs> hallelujah, so that we can enter in to the reign that he has for us to be in, right? Um, sowing season will be on its way, okay? Sowing season will be on its way, but we have a final harvest to reap. And so let's do that final harvest right now. You know, let's, let's focus in on reaping the reward of being a servant, being a bond servant, being a handmaiden of the Most High. To lay all those weights aside and truly enter into his festival with joy. Um, when we are able to lay aside all of our burdens, all of our weights, and when we're able to be cleansed by him, then we can enter into Sukkot, which is the season of our joy. He says to be all together rejoiceful, rejoicing at that time. That is a time of rejoicing. And so if we are bringing in <laughs> the baggage right with us, that is not what he desires. And so we have to lay aside everything um, and get cleansed so that we can enter into the uh, picture of our time and our reign on high with our bridegroom. So that's just the message I have for women tonight um, as we are preparing ourselves, as we are getting ready. Um, don't just look at this as just another point in the cycle, but look at this as an ability and as a time of refreshing, as a time of reset, as a time of renewal. This could be a new year for you. And so that's where our mind should be at, you know, being renewed being made new um, and uh, allowing Yah to transform us from the inside out. Hallelujah.